anyway, um, <coughs> we are going to just first detach those and then proceed. Okay, so first things first, we need to get the battery out of place before we go anywhere. And uh, always be careful not to hold the camera lenses by any means. And, uh, this is up. Open that. This is up. So we need to get rid of all these screws right here. Just as a reminder, we are inside the Note 20, uh, one of those uh, phones that uh, really did disrupt the trends in the market with their telephoto cameras. But this is how it looks like on the inside and uh, we open these screws right here is she a content creator the one of this one no. <laughs> you must uh, you swap i know you make your content in peace But I think uh, starting a YouTube channel today may be a little okay. Mm. It's now during COVID, people were broke, people were not watching. Some people started during COVID and got checks of like 600. Yeah, they were doing, they were doing entrepreneurship stuff. And people who are not like guys were like doing poultry, chicken stuff, no, 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 farming. No, no. There's a girl who was actually just talking. Really? Mm. About? A Ugandan girl, moreover. What she was she doing normal vlogs, daily life, things like that. Eh? Hey. And before COVID, or during that time, things were a bit social, so skipping mm. up with, mm. you know? I think that's a past pastime. Anyway, it's hard to also understand YouTube trends. Mm. Be honestly, there are channels I look at, I'm like, how? How is the guy who cuts grass? Let me show you. Yes, I watch him. <laughs> you watch this. <laughs> I watch a lawn mower. And, the, and I really sit there wondering what am I watching. Like, uh, I, but because it's in the US, actually, it started breaking ground when it started doing free lawn mowing. Yes, I think it's the same thing. Yeah, because in the US, charity is very hard. Mm. So to see someone who can do things for free, they'd be like, eh, he calls himself all blades. This is when a guy who cuts <laughs> now that one has problems. And they keep having more views now. Look at this one, seven million. There's a time they think. And they are one hour long. <laughs> the last video I watched is that they had called the police on him. It's the same guy. <laughs> I just know. Get an ad blocker. <laughs> ah, that's that's, the, that's the picture. Uh -huh. <laughs> and that's all he does all day. The tree's catching on fire. It's an emergency. I'm afraid. People have their fortunes. <laughs> I'm sure this guy no longer makes money by mowing. No, by views. Yeah. <laughs> Aaron, Yo. start mowing lawns. Guy has shown you to work. <laughs> Man, if, if people like to watch it on YouTube, it will work. <laughs> Actually, you know, campuses can do a lot of content yeah. on this campus. There is so much. But, uh, Munag. Uh, we read. <laughs> um, uh, kind that of read. But I think I think also at campus the paint the picture they paint is that mark has to be got, mm. and then the problem is the lecturers are not organized. When you think you should be free and doing your thing, they're like, I have put my lecture the one I missed last time. Can you imagine? So so you're like even the little free time is do not. They do that only for undergrad or they do that for graduate students. Now graduate students it is worse. Those guys actually have to arrange lectures per lecture per lecture. With a teacher. Is uh, the teacher busy or the students around the teacher busy? I think both ways but mostly the teacher. Like yes, sir, we've got any hotel here come and uh, teach us. 
they didn't start sending messages to each other. Okay, so now I am going to disconnect this. Uh, this is uh, the ribbon that goes to the LCD. And then this goes to the charging port and the lower subboard that also holds the microphone and uh, antenna assembly. This is also doing the same, moving from the main board to the subboard. Now, first order of business is I'm going to pick out the motherboard and uh, let me do just that. I'm disconnecting the thing that charges the stylus right there. I don't think I need to remove the stylus yet. And I'm going to pick out the motherboard and examine it. Now, what I'm doing at times uh, when we figure the issue, it becomes very easy for us to restore it. So we want to eliminate the motherboard. So let me first disconnect the front camera assembly, and then pick out the motherboard. Oh, whenever you meet resistance, uh, first uh, hold on and look around. I noticed we forgot to pull out the SIM card tray. Let's do just that. Pull it out, then we should be able to have a motherboard. Let me hold the SIM cards. These ones, when they fall, you can take a whole day here looking for them. <laughs> okay, so I'm picking out the motherboard, and it seems like it's going to have to come out with the camera assembly. Yeah, so this is your motherboard camera assembly. Mm, pretty big lenses. Pretty big lenses right there. Now I need to look for where the GPU is. That's there. But first I'm going to disconnect the camera modules. I do not want that when I'm doing my things, I end up touching them with my finger. I do not want to smudge them. So, okay, this is out, and that's out. And, uh, I believe they should go the other way around. Okay, there was a sad connector there. And I uh, hope there's no other. And this is purely adhesive. So that's your camera module or assembly. This must cost an arm and a leg. <coughs> Now we are going to take some measurements on this motherboard. <laughs> I okay, so uh, you need to take a few readings here. Let me get this plugged in and then uh, proceed with a few things here and there. So let me return this in there temporarily. I need to take battery readings before I proceed to the next step. And then now, what am I interested in? Interested in this. All right. Get that. Uh, set this to voltage mode. And. Uh, So that's above zero percent. So we can work with that.
Uh, ah, okay, those are mob views. She does makeup, she looks nice, but she does African things. And she has that African look. Mm. And I'm sure she must be having like views from, uh, from abroad. Ah, Ugandan views, I've noticed. Eh? Mm. They are not there. Yeah, they, like, they like who? She does abroad. Oh. See? She's in Uganda, but abroad. Yes. She oh. even says her Uganda name most of the time. Mm. So this is the type she does. That was before COVID. I don't even know when she started, but the views even most recent. These are very most recent ones. She does a lot of shows. That's what I'm saying. For a person who shows their themselves, it's very easy for people to sort of like bond with the person. But if you don't show yourself, ha, ah, your content has to be exceptional. Okay. She even like. shows people how to fetch from your wheel. <laughs> It's an easy, easy thing. <laughs> they, 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 oh, let me just show you some guy here. Only that for him, some YouTuber already had subscribers promoted him. Mm -hmm. Like, you guys, let's get this one to 1,000. And now, people keep watching him. Ma, I am Yuguna Oga. I am. Ma. But the guy, the guy is, I think, he uses the little English that he has. Mm. Let me see here. Oh, which is this? Hello, guys. Uh, no, not <laughs> this one. Uh, this one was also promoted by the same person who promoted this guy. Show sure, what's up, guys? My name is Mayuglo. Just I'm showing people about day 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 but of course they boosted him to yeah. to ten thousand. But people keep coming back to watch him. <laughs> but that's even to promote you more. <laughs> Memes are not that bad. <laughs> Make it you fun. me, Maz. <laughs> I would make so much fun and noise, it would just be fun. <laughs> but you see, mm. making fun of somebody's language barrier. Yeah. Yeah, for him, he's making his good dollars. Because yeah. yeah. he, was, he was like working as a mansion for that, a mansion for that guy. <laughs> <laughs> so the guy like I think the guy liked him like okay you start a channel let me oh, ask my subscribers to give you a, a ten thousand views yeah I and like off you went yeah. so do you know of anyone who can promote your channel <laughs> yeah. and the problem you guys who have gone the channels eh? ah they don't want. They don't want to promote If you're small right. and you'll be like, I want a collab with you. Yeah. Like, uh, how will you want me to, to to give you subscribers? Like, like as though... Like as those people will get off your channel if you see this other guy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I had this guy, I think, when he, the one who promoted this guy. Mm. After some time, mm. some in, thinking through that came to his place. So like you guys, I'm no longer doing free collabos. You want a collabo? One thousand dollars. Who has for M? For a collabo.
to myself. <laughs> okay. I think I spoke a lot of things thinking I was recording. I wasn't recording, but um, I was trying to tell you guys that uh, I have been troubleshooting this phone off camera and it turns out that we are suspecting or we can conclude that we need a re screen replacement because I reflowed the system on chip but still I do not get uh, a display coming that side when I analyzed and took measurements at the interface where the screen plugs in to receive signals from the main motherboard I get correct values um, however I was talking of this uh, capacitor here uh, the fourth one from the bottom one two three four um, it's giving me a resistance value of uh, 40 ohms across itself but um, you know resist capacitor is not supposed to have any resistance value in most cases it just starts low and builds up to an infinite value now I also lifted it out of circuit one terminal and then measured across it it seemed all right gave me an infinite resistance but when I measured from that end to the point at which it sold us to it gave me 40 ohms of resistance which suggests that the problem is coming from uh, likely this IC to which it communicates when it processes a signal that comes into it before that IC distributes it to the individual dots and um, that's it for today feel free to hit the subscribe button or like the video and do share see you in the next video for now i'm just going to get to closing up the phone and i don't think it's something you should fail to do because it's just the opposite of uh, opening it and if you watched the opening part you should be able to put it back together all you need to do is exercise some care and a little intuition all right Thank you.